Hello YouTubers, my name is Jeff and for the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to watch the latest and current movies for free along with watching current versions of live TV for free. Now this tutorial will be for Windows. It will be the same for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, you want to open up your web browser, whether if it's Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, um, Microsoft Edge, Windows Explorer, there's tons of them it doesn't matter just open one and make sure we navigate to google.com once on google.com and the Google search engine we will type in Cody K-O-D-I once you type in Cody your first search result your first search result will be Cody open source home theater software go ahead and click on that link which will bring you to the home page of Cody to the right you're gonna see download Cody button go ahead and click on that once you click on that it will show you take you to the downloads page where it will show you information in regards to the platforms Cody is supported on and it will have some developers information as well um, you're gonna see the releases that are available right now um, this is a release candidate version so we don't want that we want the current release version which is Cody 17.0 um, don't be fooled actually don't get intimidated just because it just says Windows 10 this is Windows 7 8 and 10 um, you're gonna want to click the installer here once you click the installer it'll start downloading um, for the sake of this tutorial I actually already have it downloaded so I'm gonna hit cancel go ahead and pull up my downloads and opening up Cody so this is what happens when you finish downloading it and you get brought to the installation page or the setup page so right here we're just gonna click next I agree leave all boxes checked unless you know there's special things you're trying to do here um, if you don't know what you're doing just leave it go ahead and click next same thing here if you if you don't know what you're doing just leave it this this basically chooses where you want to store the file so if you have multiple drives that comes in handy click next and install all right now the installation of Kodi is not hard, really easy. It's getting the add-ons to function properly or learning how to set up the add-ons, which I will be showing you. All right, once Kodi's finished, go ahead and check the box run Kodi and hit finish. Cody is opening up in the background and now we're at the main page of Kodi. Now I'm gonna get into a little bit of detail in regards to the add-ons now first things first if you're not familiar with add-ons you definitely want to get familiar with them so you would like more you would type in Cody add-ons and uh, that's what I did here first results on Google is top best working Cody video add-ons of March 2017 this will be all the latest add-ons it'll tell you what's working what's not or what's popular and what's not. For this demonstration, I will be showing you showing you Exodius, which is my personal favorite. Uh, this is just just for movies, not for live TV streams. I will get into that in the next video I make. So for Exodius for Cody, what you want to do is you want to type in Exodius Cody CEO in the search. I type in CEO because the C CEO or SEO. Sorry. So I type in Cody SEO um, only because uh, SEO Michael uh, seems to have the best 
instructions for installing this type of information. So this is uh, basically step-by-step -step directions on how to install Kodi. I will go ahead and put a link to this in the video description below. Um, the main thing you want out of this is the source, which is this right here. So I'm going to highlight, right click, and hit copy. Now I'm going back to Kodi. I'm going to go ahead and click on settings, which is this gear icon at the top left sidebar. And then we're going to click on file manager, click on add source, click on none. Go ahead and hit control V for Windows. That is how you copy. Uh, the reason why I did the control V is because you cannot right click and copy in the Kodi application. So for the name of the media source, we're going to call this Fusion. Once we do that, we're going to hit Escape and Escape, which takes us back to the main menu. Once we're at the main menu, we're going to click on Add-ons, and we will click on this little this little box up here. Once we click on that box, we're going to go ahead and click on install from zip file. You're going to get a security message saying that you're not going to be able to un you're not going to be able to install from unknown sources if it's disabled. So just like an Android phone, we need to go to unknown sources and slide this toggle switch over. That way we could download from unknown sources um, so once we do that we're going to hit the escape button which takes us back to the menu where we were at and we're going to click install from zip once we click install from zip we're going to click on fusion which is that file I just added and then we're going to click on Kodi repos once we click on Kodi repos we're going to go ahead and click on English I will explain international and the adult version in the later videos as for now we're just going to click on English now remember what we're going to be working on here for the plugins is we want Exodius for all the free movies that way you don't have to go to deal with Netflix anymore or the Redbox or uh, any of that so we're going to look for Exodius so we're going to scroll down here we go repository dot Exodius 1.0.1 dot zip click on that once you click on that in the upper right hand corner you're going to see that the add-on is enabled that basically means um, it went and retrieved the information it needed for the install of this file but it's actually not installed yet so we're going to hit the escape button which takes us back hit the escape again which just takes us back to the main menu now in the main menu, we want to click on add-ons. Once we click on add-ons, we're going to click on download. Once we click on download, we're going to go to video add-ons. Once in video add-ons, this is the part where we look for Exodius. It will be here if you did everything correctly. If you did not, go ahead and send me a message in the in a com or a comment and I will get back to you in regards to finding a solution so here's Exodius we're gonna click on it and we will go ahead and click on the install once it's finished installed once it's finished installing you will notice up at the top right it'll start popping up artwork and a bunch of other stuff and that basically means it's finished So we're going to go ahead and give it a second. It's still going. Okay, add-on enabled. That's it. It's done. That is the hardest part uh, is getting these add-ons on here. So as you can tell, it's here now. So I hit escape, escape, escape all the way back to the main menu. Now you just basically just click on videos. Video add-ons, Exodius. Now, before we continue any further, if there is a way to make it pop up, like how it does right here, when you place your mouse over add-ons, 
believe that's going to be in settings. Uh, it's not profile. It'll be. Okay, so we I think settings console master log grubber spin So if we enable this, it should actually update your video library automatically. So we might not have to mess with any of this. Still nothing. Okay. Well, in this case, you just uh, click on videos, video add-ons, Exodius, and that's it. It's 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 done. So. We got a little ad here we have to watch for a couple seconds. Done. All right. Now, any TV shows, movies, you should have available at your fingertips now. So, just to give you a quick example of what it is we did. Just click movies and let's just click in theaters. And check it out. We got movies. Free movies. Uh, for whichever reason, these aren't new movies. So let me go back. Videos. Video add ons. Exodius. Movies. In theaters. There we go. These are new movies. So if you wanted to watch a movie, you just click it. It's loading up all the sources. Basically, sites where you go and download torrents from. Basically, when you break the law to download movies, all this is... Uh, when you're breaking the law to download movies, it's, you're downloading pi copyrighted uh, material. What this does is it allows you to stream that copyrighted material so you're not breaking no laws. As of now, this is 100% legal until they make a new law for this. So as you can tell, it's digging through a lot of torrent sites and stuff like that, trying to pull up all the results possible for you. Depending on your internet connection, uh, this could be slower or faster. So it's going to show you, um, you know, the highest quality usually on top, and then it gets lower and lower and lower quality at the bottom. Uh, you just choose one, and what it'll do is it'll start going through the numbers. So if one doesn't work, it'll automatically skip to two. So in this situation, this is an ad. Don't engage in these ads. Just hit cancel. It's going to move on to number two then three until it finds one that works and it looks like in our case number three worked and now we got and that's basically it if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and leave a comment and a like if you did not or have any recommendations Go ahead and feel free to dislike the video or leave a comment with your recommendation. I will be working on making more videos in the future in regards to using this application. Um, my next video will be in regards to free TV streams. Thank you for watching and have a great day.